Princess for the mini show, such as the Ball Number Shangri Show, Shepherd of the Hills, and Presley Country Jubilee, etc. The Ball Number Shangri Show's first country music show, and Branson founded by the May Brothers nearly 50 years ago. The May Brothers began entertaining people on Teeny Combs Lakefront in 1959. The ball numbers got their name from the vigilante group that mounted the ball tops of the mountains in the late 1800s. In the first shows, they actually did play with a washtub bass, the jawbone of a mule, and a flat top guitar called a dobro. In 1968, the ball numbers built their first theater, which has 1,500 seats. The ball numbers played during intermission school dance the very first year, The Shepherd of the Hills. Shepherd of the Hills Outdoor Drama is based on Harold Bell Wright's book. The show was founded in 1959 through 1960. The show includes over 80 cast members, 40 horses, a real-life burning cabin, and guns. During intermission, the entire audience is welcome to join the cast in a square dance hoedown. Lizzie McDaniel bought the Ross's homestead and moved it to Inspiration Point. She even put on her own dramatization of the story on her own front lawn. In the 1950s, Dr. and Miss Bruce Trimble bought the farm with their son. They began to host a nightly play based on the novel. Dr. Trimble died before this happened, and so his wife and son followed through with the plan. There is a nightly drama down the hill from the Ross's cabin in 1958. A former cast member, Gary Snyder, and his wife Pat bought the farm. Inspiration Tower was built in 1989. The play was performed for its 5,000th time in 1996, making it the longest-running outdoor drama. The Shepherd of the Hills continues to break records with every performance. The Presley Country Jubilee used to take place in a cave in the Missouri Hills. Soon, too many people showed up to be held in the cabins. So they bought a piece of land on an isolated two-lane stretch of asphalt just outside of town. The show was founded by Lloyd and Bessie Presley in June of 1967. The 44-year run is the longest continuous performance run of any brand's entertainer. And that 44-year run would be by Steve and Gary Presley. The show is about the history of Prince. The Presleys perform a variety of music from rock and roll to classical. They also perform comedy and is known for its uniqueness. The show is constantly changing and evolving, but in a good way. And that's the mini show is a Brent.